Hey guys, welcome to the Dirty Virgo channel. This is kind of my pilot little reading here, my first ever reading posted on the channel. It's really nice to meet you guys. Um, you can just call me Dirty Virgo for the time being. And uh, I have three piles for you guys. This reading specifically is just for the week ahead. This is for the week ahead whenever you guys manage to find this video. Um, I do have lots of ideas and exciting plans and stuff like that for you guys. Um, you know, before I get into this, I'll tell you a little bit about me. I am a... Well, <laughs> I'm I'm sort of an amateur reader. I've been doing this for a few years now, um, actually, since about 2018 or so. Um, and it's mostly just been practice up until now. But I feel, you know, called to share some of my readings with you guys. And, uh, you know, I've watched a lot of channels, a lot of pick a card reading channels before. And there's plenty out there in the sea, you know, but um, I wanted to offer specifically a very dedicated space, um, especially to LGBTQ AI plus uh, viewers and also disabled viewers. Um, I am both. <laughs> so, um, you know, I do have um, some disabilities, um, and then also I am part of the LGBTQ AI plus, uh, community. So I, I apologize if I sound nervous. I've never done this before, guys. <laughs> I've never done anything like this before at all. So, um, please forgive me for at first while I'm getting used to this. But I hope to give you guys a unique experience when it comes to card readings. You know, Virgos, I am a Virgo. Um, Virgo sun, that is. Virgos are usually labeled as pretty, you know, organized and cleanly and, you know, stuff like that. But I am very rough around the edges. I am punk. I am messy. I'm almost nothing like, like, well, sort of. Nothing like a typical Virgo, like what you'd see in like really crappy, <laughs> really crappy horoscopes, like the ones that magazines have. I'm nothing like that. So I wanted to give you guys a real look into what a dirty Virgo is like. <laughs> so yeah, stick around if you like, you know, not offensive, but... Someone who doesn't beat around the bush. Someone who doesn't really, you know, take shit and swears a lot. Swears like a sailor. <laughs> I'm going to try not to swear too much in videos, but, you know, I can't help being who I am. So, with that, a uh, couple fun facts about me. I'm obsessed with the color purple. I know it doesn't look like it at first, but as I continue to get things for the channel and for readings and stuff like that. You'll probably see the color purple show up everywhere. <laughs> um, I wear glasses and they're purple. My hair is purple. Everything is purple with me. So I love, love, love purple. Um, I like to draw. I like to read tarot. And I like to um, hang out with my friends. I'm pretty normal, I guess. Run of the mill. But uh, you'll learn more about me as time goes on. But yeah, I just wanted to give a quick, short intro into me. Uh, but yeah, let's get into these piles. So for pile markers, does anybody remember Gomu? Those like, like cute little erasers that kind of comes apart and stuff like that? Like these come apart and then you can, they're erasers. They were huge when I was a kid, and uh, I kept on. Uh, I kept a hold of some of mine, and I figured they would make cute markers at first. Um, I'll be using a bunch of different things for markers, though. So, for pile one, we have a picture frame. 
doesn't really look like it because there's no picture in the frame, but it is in fact a picture frame that sits up. It's really cute. I think it's adorable. For group two, we have a little locket. It's kind of see-through and soft. I think it's nice. And then group three, as I kind of showed up close before, we have a little iPod. <laughs> That, that, that ages me right there. That shows you exactly, you know, where these things came from at the time. Little iPod. Pretty sure these were a thing before iPhones really were a thing. This was back in the iPod era. So that is pile three. So you can choose a pile based on marker, by number, by whatever you like. Whatever you like. It definitely helps me when I do these, helps me to take a nice deep breath beforehand and then just think, you know, let your, let your brain wander a little bit and then think, what do I need to know about my week or whatever the question may, you know, be. And then just let an answer come in, whether it's through this or a number or whatever, just let it show up in your brain. But you know best how to pick your pile. So go for it, guys. I'm excited. And I will see you in your respective pile. Thank you for coming today. I appreciate it. I'll see you there. Hello, pile one. If you chose the little picture frame, then this is your group. So... This time, we're going to be doing um, a week ahead reading. So, sorry if I sound so nervous. This is the first time that I'm actually doing this. Whoopsies. I've never done this before, guys. So, ah, the nerves are high, but this is going to be fun. So, pile one week ahead. Pile one week ahead. Let's see. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. There we go. Oh boy. All right. Let's see. And if I could get one more for pile one. Oh, okay. Hmm. All right, so let's just start with the tarot cards at first, and then we'll add more cards on as we go. So you have the Nine of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and Death. So yeah, I'm seeing a lot of planning for the future as far as the next step, I see a lot of just keeping an eye on finances for this next week, being a bit frugal and just kind of reflecting a bit on where you'd want to go. Um, starting over, some of you already know, like some of you don't even need to really do any reflecting. Some of you are just like, nope, I know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to start over. It's time for me to turn over a new leaf. This could be a pretty formative week for some people. Um, but just make sure not to get too overzealous. Don't get, don't get too excited. <laughs> As far as like, ooh, you know, like, I'm going to do this and that. Keep, keep steady this week. Keep steady. Don't go too overboard with, oh, I got to get this off Amazon. Ooh, I got to buy all this stuff. Ooh, I got to, you know, like this and that. I know you're excited and I know that you're very much ready to do all this. 
whatever this is pertaining to. But it's better if you just go in zen, even if the inside of you, <laughs> even if your inside are like sparking with all these colors and all these, you know, emotions like, ah, you know. <laughs> all right, let's get another deck here. I have Green Witch Oracle that we're going to pull for you. Ugh, my hands are sm so small, you guys. Some of these cards are so hard for me to shuffle because my hands are super small. Like, even compared to most other people like me, they are teeny, teeny, tiny. I'm telling you. Super tiny. Let's see. Pile one. The week ahead. What type of keyword should we be looking for? Or trust with basil. Well, that's sweet. So yeah, just trust that it's all going to go okay. Because it is. It's going to be fine. This is an exciting this is an exciting time for you guys. It really is. You know, you're planning a lot for your future. You're looking ahead so much. And, you know, emotions are pretty high. And I get it. I really get it. I super duper get it. But just keep, keep steady, grounded, definitely. I'm going to actually read what that card is about here because I'm, I feel like it could be interesting. So if you can see, it says basil will indicate energies surrounding trust and the workings of relationships. Consideration and putting more into gaining harmonious ground are required. And although this does include romance, basil is referencing any relationship or connection. Education and travel are all areas that are shining with positive vibes at the moment. But be wary of being in situations or relationships that you know are not good for you. Right. So... I was sort of picking up on that when I was like, don't get too excited because it may involve people that kind of were problematic in the past. Um, you know, with the nine of wands in reverse, it's reflection on your journey so far and how far you've come and, you know, purveying your next steps from there. And there may be a couple thorns in the road, you know, when it comes to people or when it comes to situations like that. Just, you know, be wary of those types of people. And, you know, if a problematic person comes back during this journey or is a part of it, just keep focused and head fast and steady. Just do you. Do you. That is your goal here this week. Don't let anyone freak you out, <laughs> change your mind, anything like that. Don't let it happen. Don't let it happen. What other energies are around? Let's see. What other energies do we have here? Pile one, what energies? The spider, yeah, yeah, for sure. So the spider to me represents putting in the work. This is a hardworking creature. You have to build your web. You have to build connections here. And that ties right back in the rainbow with the Father of Pentacles. You need to stay steady this week. You need to stay focused this week. Um, because your web is not the only web that's being spun at the moment. It, you know, everyone around you has their own web that they're trying to build so that they can live, eat, survive. You know, stuff like that. Live life. Um, you just need to make sure that your web doesn't entangle with others or that you don't let 
theirs encroach on your space. But the thing is, is that the diligence is absolutely seen here with the Father of Pentacles, with the spider. You are very focused this, this week, and that is fantastic. You need to keep in that energy um, because it's going to open some serious doors for you guys. I can feel it. Um, yeah, for sure. I'm trying to see if I can get any more messages here. Yeah, with the spider, yeah, they can also get a little bit <laughs> bitey. You know, if someone lands in their web, they're like, rah, you know, it's time to eat. Um, be careful of who you're biting at this week. Just don't get too crazy. Just like I mentioned, don't get too jumpy. Don't jump the gun. Just, you know, I mean, don't, you know. If you want something, go for it, but just make sure of those around you. I think that's a good, a good way to summarize that. Think of those around you, how it may be affecting them and how they may be affecting you. I think that's a good analogy to uh, keep in mind and think about this week as you're achieving these goals, as you're starting a little bit of a new venture this week let's see what else do we have okay we got tea leaf cards i love these things you guys they're so much fun i love using these <laughs> i take there's so many of them so i just take a pile of them at a time and shuffle and see if whoa anything comes out that's a little bit too see you know what just happened there don't do that this week <laughs> don't don't let it all go spilling out don't go crazy oh that one kind of wanted to come out whoa don't be slippery <laughs> that one doesn't want to go back in oh and that one okay all right what about this little pile let's see Group one messages. <laughs> that one. Oh, the rainbow. What the heck? You guys are getting a lot of rainbow things today. That's a good sign. That's just a sign of happiness, of pride, of joy. Oh, by the way, happy pride, you guys. Pride is here. Yay. Oh, my gosh. Uh, what are you guys doing for Pride? Let me know. Um, I usually, I mean, I haven't really partaken in any uh, Pride things yet. <laughs> I just, whoa, need to find what it is that I can go to and survive. <laughs> so, uh, all right, you got a lot of tea cards here. So let's go through them. Let me look at that rainbow card. The most difficult part of a situation is over. I definitely got that. With that, mm-hmm. You've you've climbed that ladder, and now it's time to continue forward from this point of reflection. Definitely, definitely, time to just breathe, calm it down, calm it down. <laughs> time to trust you don't have to go into you know you know brain overload you have the door here opportunities are waiting yes absolutely with your death card absolutely i absolutely got that for sure um let's see we got the sun happiness and well-being i i definitely got that this is actually sort of reflecting a bit of a situation that I'm going through. Maybe pile one would be my pile if I were watching this video. Along with the death card as well, you know, there's 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 a transformation coming. You know, one door is closed, you opened a new one. Absolutely. I get that feeling. We have the ram here. A stubborn, aggressive person. Interesting. With your trust card. Um, with these two. It mentioned, you know, 
just be careful of who you're letting around you and this week and you know who you're allowing to influence your actions or influencing their actions because you know if you set someone off they're suddenly going at you and then it, oh boy oh boy i've been there <laughs> just just be careful this this week about people that could be stubborn or aggressive toward what you're doing not saying that you know a fight's gonna break out or anything all right we do have broken bridge here unsuccessful outcome to a problem and i feel like this is what you're moving on from rather than what's going to be happening i mean i don't see any sort of indication in the cards that you're going to have any issues i i would say though that if you do go a little crazy this week and not really listen to your intuition necessarily or show proper discipline and proper diligence yeah you could have some problems this week so just keep an eye out for that keep an eye out for that um but i don't really get too much crazy stuff from that we have wind chimes peace and harmony yeah i i do see that with your father of pentacles here the father of pentacles is always i'd say probably one of the most calm energies of the dad of the tarot deck i'd say he's he's the grandpa in his armchair you know looking out over his kids silently and just enjoying what life gives him what you know what life shows him next he's happy to see the sun again each morning and you know he's just very calm and accepting of things is what i get from the Father of Pentacles. And finally, you have Tree. Affairs with your family. So this could have something to do with your family. The Ram, the stubborn, aggressive person, could be a member of your family. Um, but your family is also, also it might be who you're looking out for, who's looking out for you during this time. Could be biological, could be found family. And with the rainbow, you know, pride is highlighted here. So I will say that your found family, excuse me, may have a, um, a part to do uh, with your week. Absolutely. Let's see. And then finally, we got some little my fairy dust deck. Some advice cards for you guys give you some words of wisdom from fairies. I've been followed around by fairies my entire life. Lots of weird fairy rings show up in places that they definitely shouldn't be showing up in. <laughs> like in the middle of a suburb, like just odd. Like it's never really been shown that mushrooms would start growing there. Bluebells would grow underneath my uh, window during childhood. Um, and bluebells have remained some of my favorite uh, flowers to this day. So I am definitely fairy blessed or followed by fairies, at least I think so. <laughs> um, so I like using the fairy deck because it feels like I'm asking them to help you guys out. All right, we got three. Oh my God, are you kidding me? <laughs> well, would you look at that? Trust. There you go. You got two trust words twice. Breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. Yeah, so... I do sense, I sense that con need for control, like just like the you, like kind of micromanaging. That's a good word for it. Micromanaging things this week, or at least wanting to. <laughs> um, try not to micromanage so much because I know for a fact that micromanaging can really affect those around you. They can feel not heard, not seen, 
you know, maybe even ignored a little bit during, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and that can really hurt some people's feelings. So breathe in, breathe out, let go of doubt. Absolutely a really, really good card. And then you have medicine. Veggies and fruit from yellow to blue, like medicine, they're good for you. Yeah. So staying on a healthy diet, not going too crazy with the uh, the fast food this week. Just ig ignore the stomach problems, guys, really. Like, <laughs> your focus is needed elsewhere other than the bathroom. <laughs> your focus is needed elsewhere. You, you ain't got time to be putzing around in the bathroom on your phone <laughs> while you're sitting there. Just, no, no, you need to be in good health so that you can focus on what you need to focus on this week. Because I have a feeling it's important and I have a feeling you're not gonna wanna miss out. Not even, just because it's fun. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. And then you have rain. Rain, rain comes today. Let all your troubles wash away. Once again, it just reminds me of trust. Just like, just trust, let the rain heal you. I know for a fact, guys, that if there's one thing to know about me, it's that I absolutely love the rain. Rainy weather is some of my favorite weather ever. Um, I love a rainy day. It just gives you a perfect excuse to curl up and get cozy and just, you know, either relax or it does help focus it helps you focus a lot of people will turn on rain sounds to focus on work or they'll turn on rain to sleep and just relax after a long day and stuff like that so you know i feel like oh yeah in the picture frame with the tree family and like pictures of your family that you have laying around huh so <laughs> Uh, yeah, it, it, this seems like a very, it's, the thing is though, I will say overall, this energy does give me calm. Like it's not going to be crazy necessarily, but there is a definite point of focus this week that you're going to need to delegate your time to your energy to, um, and it might be decently, it might be a decently large deal. It might be just something you got to buckle down and focus on. But the thing is, is that I get that it'll, you'll, you'll find fun in it. Even if you don't see it right now, you'll find a way to have some fun. Um, so, you know, trust in life, trust that things are going to go well for you. Um, trust that your family's got your back, your friends have your back. You know, you are very supported right now so this is this is great guys this is great what a wonderful wonderful reading thank you so much for watching guys if you really liked it go ahead leave a like a comment if this resonated tell me how this really panned out for you um absolutely i would love that and then i do have a donation link in the description of the video if you would like to drop me a tip for your reading it not required <laughs> but much appreciated thank you so much guys and i'll see and then i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye have a really good hello if you chose the adorable little locket <laughs> this is your pile this is your reading all right Let's see what you get. I'm so excited. You're going to have to excuse any sort of uh, nervousness in my voice. <laughs> this is the first video that I'm recording for this channel. And it's the first video that I've whoop, really recorded for any channel. So let's see. Ooh, okay. So we have the Page of Wands to start. Let's see. Ooh. 
the Hierophant, it is really nice to meet you guys. I hope that you really enjoy this video. And the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. All right. We're going to start with those. So, hmm. This is an interesting combo. So with the Daughter of Wands, the Page of Wands, I'm getting that you're starting to come up with some ideas, but you're not quite sure, not quite sure on them yet. You, you think that's the right way to go, and I feel like it is the right way to go, but, uh, oops, I'm so sorry. Um, I feel like, you know, it, it just may take a while to establish. So essentially what I'm getting is that these ideas that you have are really great, but just don't be alarmed if it takes a moment, you know, if it takes a moment to build. Um, after all, they are just kind of little baby ideas. <laughs> you You need some time to build them up into worthwhile ventures that'll actually get you maybe some coin you know what i'm saying but this is definitely a sign that you're on the right track so if you've been doubting yourself don't doubt anymore you're doing great <laughs> you've you've done it you've thought of the idea that you're supposed to think of for sure this week so if you have anything that you were on the fence about Go for it. Go for it. Definitely. Oh, this is sweet. We have happiness. That's wonderful. That's amazing. Happiness, Gemini energy. How nice. I love that with the little potion bottle. Yeah, it's like you have your, you, you got your stuff. You got your, you've got the right magic here. So let me actually open the guidebook for this and I will read to you what it says. Here we go. New successes, absolutely. Relationships and even beginnings are indicated. Can you do something differently to move an outcome more in line with your desires? Interesting. Let's see. Majorum indicates celebrations, excitement, holidays, good news, and physical radiance. So very, very like um, six of wands, uh, four of wands energy. Freedom that was once out of reach might now be obtainable. The key. Oh my gosh. Be careful of overindulgence and overspending. Definitely. And being too free with information that may be better kept quiet for now. Oh, okay. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, there may be some developments that you're starting to see. And, you know, that does make sense with this. You've realized that you have something good going on. You're starting to see some returns. And, you know it may be good to keep that under your hat for a little while, just for a little while. But there are definitely, definitely some good things happening this week. Wow, your luck is kind of, you know, off the charts this week. <laughs> new ideas, new possibilities coming in this week. That's absolutely fascinating, fascinating. What other energies are abound this week? Let's see. Oh, cheetah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, movement. <laughs> and you have wands, fire, the fire, and like, gosh, the lightning and everything. Yeah, fast movement. So, wow, you guys, what a week for you. This is like the, this is, Wow. This is almost completely different to pile one. Fast movement, fiery, just like 
you're suddenly seeing that this was absolutely the right thing or the right path to go on. And you're really seeing some returns. You're starting to see some hard work being paid off here. This is amazing. Or you're starting to see what can get you there. Like you've, you've, you got the key now. You're going to discover that key and what that is for you. That is crazy. Amazing. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. We got some tea leaf cards for you guys. I love these cards. Oh my gosh. The first card on the top of this was key. Successful outcome to your problems. Okay. I'm just going to keep that because now you have two keys. That's amazing that that was just sitting on top of this deck. Upright, just like completely, just like, hello, how are you? I'm here. I've arrived. Like, okay. Stepping into a new experience. Definitely. Definitely. I'm, ex I'm getting that with this and, you know, oh my gosh. I'm, it, it, like, my head is a whirlwind. Are you guys okay? <laughs> my head is a whirlwind. Oh my word. But I'm so, I feel so excited for you guys for this. Like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's all happening so fast. <laughs> wow, what a week for you guys. That's amazing. Let's see. Anything else for pile two? This one wanted to pop out. Angel, spiritual guidance and protection from harm. Yeah, I am getting some of that with lightning and a crow and stuff like that. The Hierophant, you know, that one wanted to pop out. Forest, muddied, unclear thinking. Yeah, I'm getting that. I'm like, oh my gosh, you guys, this is a whirlwind of a week for you guys. So just make sure to take some time to clear your mind. Um, if you're ever overwhelmed, be whoa, because... Lots of stuff is happening. Box, you will receive a gift. Well, that's rather nice. A gift, huh? I don't know what that could be about, but that sounds nice. And lion, time to act. Holy crap. And with your cheetah, there's lion, big cats. The fiery energy is through the roof. Oh my gosh, you guys. You have been manifesting, and I can see that for sure. There is some serious movement, and just not even necessarily movement, just like action. <laughs> Things are happening, and it may not necessarily like be on the movement side of things. Like, you could still very much be like waiting for something, but like. It's like fireworks going off. Just a bunch of realizations and a bunch of... A bunch of, like, yeah, sudden moments of clarity followed by overwhelming <laughs> feelings because you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do with this? Oh my gosh, this is crazy. And it really is crazy. <laughs> Guys, I am, I'm like, I feel like I'm caught in a tornado, but like the best tornado ever. You know what I'm saying? And now we have some fairy oracle cards. My fairy dust cards. I love these to death. So for pile two, oh, these two pop out. So we're going to stick with those two. So what do we have? We have creative. <laughs> you guys, your minds are like, how is there not smoke billowing out of your ears? Life is a canvas for you to use. Paint all the colors of happy moods. Oh, well, that's so sweet. Yeah, you are just on a hundred when it comes to creativity. Like, just, you start out with these ideas and then you just, it just, they just exploded. And then you have friends, if it will come into focus here. There we go. 
All the love your light extends, its reflection shows in chosen friends. Absolutely. Absolutely. Pay attention to your friends this week. They may have some advice for you. They may have some just that box, that present gift. It may come from your friends. You may be getting some, uh, some gratitude from your friends this week. They're rallying behind you on this, whatever this is. And that's just so nice. They, they got your back. They see that you're in work mode. They see that you're in overwhelming mode and they're there to help you. That's the message that I'm getting. They are here to help you when you're feeling overwhelmed by everything, when you're feeling, you know, lost on what to do with what's happening this week. They're there for you. They are absolutely, absolutely there for you. Wow, you guys. That is that is one heck of an energy. Please take time to take care of yourself. I'm sure that your friends will also be there to help remind you, hey, have you drank your water? Have you eaten today? Have you taken any medications? Things like that. They're going to be there for you. But, you know, I understand you know, I understand that it's time to act. I understand that you've you've had this realization, this sudden aha moment. And you're realizing things. You're realizing a lot of things. And the locket, too. The locket, usually, you have, a, you know, a picture of someone that's dear to you. Could be family. Could be friends. But I have a feeling that, you know... One of them in particular may be really helpful to you this week on just keeping you on track while you're chasing whatever this is. And honestly, it could be relationship-based too. Could be you found out someone likes you or something like that and you're thinking of a creative way to see it through and, you know, you got you got a little a little rally, a little a little uh, cheer team. What are they called? A little posse. <laughs> you have someone, you have a, some people, especially someone in particular behind you during this week that is really going to keep you, your spirits high and keep you able to do this. So what a, a crazy week. Make sure to get some rest, you guys. Make sure to, you know, take care of yourself. Never forget to take care of yourself. But other than that, good luck, you guys. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. If you if this resonated, absolutely leave a like, a comment. Um, be sure to subscribe. And I do have a link in the description to my donation page if you would like to tip me if this resonated for you. So yeah, good luck, you guys, and have an amazing week. Bye-bye. I will see you in the next one. All right, and if you chose the cute little iPod, remember these? We essentially still have them. They're just phone phones now. <laughs> if you chose this, this is your pile. Pile three. I'll put this little guy over here for now. Hi guys, how are you? How are you? How are you? I hope you're well. All right, let's get started. It's, it's really nice to meet you guys. I'm sorry if I sound nervous or unsure of myself. Whoa. This is my first time recording a video of pretty much any sort. <laughs> um, I don't, you know, I'm just seeing how this goes. So bear with me. <laughs> Um, let's see, pile three. Oh, two came out. The sun, heck yeah. And then the queen of pentacles in reverse. The sun, that's just, that's amazing, guys. Wow. Just happiness all around. And the ten of wands. Okay, okay. So we will start with that for now. So interesting, interesting. Let me, 
Hmm. Yeah, I feel like this week, you might be feeling the pressure a little bit this week. But I have a, and honestly, I get the feeling that you've been feeling the pressure for a hot minute. <laughs> you know, there's been a lot going on. A lot on your shoulders. There's been, you may be having to take over shifts. Extra shifts. You may have been needing to stay up later. You may have been, you know pretty dang busy. You know, the semester pretty much just ended. A lot of graduates are now out there in the world, and uh, I'm sure they are utterly exhausted. <laughs> so honestly, I feel like you're coming off the tail end of that, but you know, the sun is out now. The sun is out, and it's time for just happiness and calmness and optimism. You're feeling the sun's rays on your poor weary bones <laughs> at the moment, or at least that's what this week is going to bring for you. Um, the queen of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, you've just been, you've been not able to relax. You've been constantly busy. In this particular card, if I flip it up right, it's a mother doe with her baby. I have a feeling, you know, that think of it this way. She hasn't been able to find a safe place for her and her doe to rest a while. Every time she lays down or every time that, you know, she finds a clearing, she hears a noise that's, you know, suspicious. She's like, oh God, gotta go. I have a feeling you have been on your feet a lot. You have been running around. You have been getting her done. But now is the time for that to come to an end. You are going to find that sunny patch and you are going to be able to finally just relax and get this, get this out of your mind. You know, put your headphones in, listen to a bit of music, you know, let's see, let's see what we got. So this is the Green Witch Oracle. I love these cards. So what type of keywords for pile three? What do we got? Energy. <laughs> Finally, you guys. You're going to be feeling some energy come back to you. You poor things. You are in need of absolute rest and relaxation. And hey, there I am. Hello. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're you're in some serious freaking need, guys. That's for sure. You're you need to stop and regain that energy. Let me grab the book for this and let me let me let me read this this card out to you because this might give you some nice advice. And I love the explanations that this particular book gives. So, adventure and rapid progress are indicated and it's a, and it's specifically anchored to your true purpose and the direction you're currently taking. Oranges indicate that anything is possible, although you need to get that willpower working hard. There will be challenges, but you can overcome them, and someone around you may need extra support at this time. Interesting, with the baby there. Uh, let's see. Be wary of apathy, of losing interest too soon before giving something a chance, and of negativity. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I get that. The thing is, is that, the, you know, being in the Ten of Wands energy for so long, it can really weigh on you, you know, it, and it can make you sour. It can. It can make you feel really bad and just, it, it makes it easy to lash out at people. It makes it easy to just be in, you know, like a negative Nancy for a hot minute. Um, but... You know, you need to stay in your optimism, even if this doesn't completely go away by the end of the week, which I do see it kind of, you know, dissipating. The sun will come through these thick branches, you know, even if it's not completely gone. And even if you do have to continue working, you know, carrying a couple of these around with you, stay in your optimism. 
energy, you're going to get a boost of it soon. And, you know, opportunities are going to happen. And yeah, there may be someone you're with, it may be your partner, it may be a family member that just, they, they need some company right now. And honestly, to be fair, I think you could benefit from a bit of friendly company as well. Just something to keep the spirits up, you know? Something to keep it up. Um, you know, just share. Share the sun's rays with whoever this adorable little doe is. You know, whoever this adorable little baby is. Fawn. That's the word. <laughs> That's the doe. That's the fawn. So, you know, I think coming into some of this Queen of Pentacles energy where, you know, who is, I mean, maybe besides the Queen of Cups, the most maternal figure in the deck. Um, sharing it with another. Absolutely. That's a brilliant idea, I think. Just share some music, watch a movie with your roommate, or if you're friends with them, that is. Just find someone, find a kindred spirit who's also kind of going through it at the moment. And just vibe. Vibe. Just get into this, get out of this sour negative energy that might be coming from here. And more into this side. More into this bright yellows and oranges. Tastes like energy, you know? It, it tastes like the sun, you know? And summer is coming summer is pretty much here so honestly like if you're into it crack open a cold one some soda get some wine just veg just veg a little bit you deserve it because you're going through it right now and you deserve some nice company with someone absolutely you do all right what other energies can we expect for this week for pile three Wow. Let's see. Some energies. A energy of any sort. Zebra. All right. Yeah. I was kind of getting that. So you already you also have some fiery energy. I am being called to pull another one. You have some fire energy going on already. A lot of fire and earth, staying grounded, but staying motivated. Oh, that's a little too many. You know, just don't lose your mind. Don't lose your head. There you go. Um, stay wise <laughs> about things. Don't. You know, think about what you say before you say them. Because, you know, this negative energy that you could be imposing on others, yeah, it's, it's a problem. But the zebra in specifics, they are a pack, they are a pack animal, a herd animal, and they're very unique. You're a very unique soul. And I do see that. And once again, it's very mind-oriented. Zebras, to me, are all about their stripes, their uniqueness. You've earned your stripes. And, you know, and I also see this as, like, this is you and your friend. Or maybe this is you and this is your friend. But, yeah, boldness and courage. I see quite a lot of that. Hmm. Yeah. You're getting tired of running. Once again, it's kind of similar, you know, the deer and the zebra are both prey animals. They need to run a lot from things that might hurt them. Yeah. Embrace your uniqueness. Embrace your boldness with the energy in the zebra here. Embrace that. Absolutely. That may be a particularly helpful trait this week. But stay wise. Don't go acting unwise. Don't go, you know, don't go traipsing around. 
boasting. Don't get to boast levels, but, you know, use your uniqueness. Use your nerve. Use some of your, you know, some of your stuff to just get through it. It's going to be a good week, guys. I feel like it's going to be a good week for you. I I see that there's stuff to do. It might be kind of stressful. Ooh, okay, these are just falling right out. But, you know, play. Oh my gosh, yeah! Then the sun, oh my god! Let's get into this. So, play. May not come into focus, but... Step outside and feel the sun. Breathe the air. Play. Have some fun. What was I telling you? I'm like, how about just getting together with a friend? Have a good time, guys. For real. For real. Rainbows. In our forests, no trees debate. Rainbows stand with love, not hate. Yeah, something may be really, really putting a sour note <laughs> in your week. And that sucks, guys. I'm sorry, but it is life. And I think, uh, funny that I said sour. Sour has been a word popping up. Wow, okay. Well, stay positive through it all. That's kind of just the, find the joys in your week. As well as, you know, to combat the negatives. Sleep. Underneath the nighttime skies, fairies sing you lullabies. Yeah, just know that you're protected. And know that, you know, things are going to be okay. You are going to see, you know, a decline of the stressful situation this week. It's going to be gradual. It's going to go down as the week progresses. But, and, you know, and there may be some leftover things you got to deal with afterward. But, you know, I still see that little hints of joy are popping up. And that really may lie in friends. And getting good sleep, please, if you're going to prioritize anything for yourself, really, I absolutely would prioritize companionship and sleep this week. That's... Definitely, definitely a big thing for you. You need your energy. You really do this week. And you need to keep that replenished. And you need to keep it charged with positivity. And so, even if you're sleepy, and even if you're exhausted after a long day, it really might help you to just veg out with a friend for a bit. And go home and get some freaking sleep, dude. <laughs> Listen to some music. Just vibe. Veg. You did what you needed to do. It's time to just chill. Maybe even treat yourself a little bit this week, you know? Just treat yourself a little bit. I do have one more little deck here. The Tea Leaves deck. I love these cards. We're just going to take a few at a time and go for it. I accidentally did these out of order. Usually I do these and then those fairy cards, but yeah. And then this one popped out at me. Hammock taking a vacation. <laughs> Physically or mentally. Yep, I got that. I can't read that one. Okay. And then we'll go for the other half here. We'll see what you get. Ooh, okay. I kind of lost that one. This is a big deck. My hands are tiny. <laughs> oh, okay. We'll go through these individually, of course. I just want to make sure everybody gets a chance. No, no, I'm not done yet. One more. One more. Okay. There, oh my gosh. There's three. Mm, I'm just going to take that one. Mm. No, I'm going to keep all three of them. All right. You got a lot of these. <laughs> I mean, most piles, most of the piles did, but 
Might be the most by far. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let's go through these. So you got rat. Someone working against you behind your back. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of got that feeling that there's just something that you're dealing with right now. Something that you're dealing with. And it might be a person. Yikes. Okay, we have club. Someone will try to make you do something against your will. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm sorry about this. Is this what's going on right now? Someone is really, really putting a wrench in in your life right, th right now. But you do have a well. Family wishes come true. So that's good. That's really good. I think that's... That's nice. We're gonna go through all these and I'll talk about them together. Bowl. Plenty of material things. Well, that's good. You know, you're gonna be taken care of. There's just something going on right now. We got fan, romance, celebration, party. Hey, there you go. Yeah, there's like a mix of like good things and then like really sketchy things. Yeah, dagger. Fear, worries, tense situations. Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. I mean, I definitely got some of that. For sure. With the energy card, too. We have bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. If you guys are taken, really lean into them this week. I feel like they may be the person that you should veg out with. They might be the zebra to your owl or your owl to your zebra, you know? Your partner may be highlighted here or just your really best friend. Fox. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. Mm, that one gives me in. It's almost neutral, that one is. Gosh, you guys have a lot of cards here. Firecracker. Excitement. Well, that's... Good. That can mean excitement, good or bad. Finally, you have hammock. Taking a vacation, physically or mentally. Yeah, you need to step away from some sort of situation here. Try and get these guys in frame here. But yeah, there's a situation, whatever the heck this is going on here. Someone is really, someone just kind of has it out for you for some reason. Or you're just suffering. Just like your boss maybe, or just like a tense situation overall. Remember, this is a collective reading. So these might, you know, not resonate necessarily. But fear, worries, tense situations, yeah. I mean, with your ten of wands here, I mean, that's just pretty direct. There's a lot going on. I mean, whatever this is, it'll be resolved or at least mostly calmed down at the very least by the end of this week. But man, what a week for you guys. Yeah, definitely the goal this week, just keep calm. Keep optimistic because, you know, these people suck. I'll tell you that much right now. They are completely in the wrong. If you had any sort of doubts about your standing on whether you're the one that might be in the wrong or there might be the one, it's them 100%. Someone's being a rat B-word to you. And it's not fair. It's not fair that they're being like that to you guys. And... Take comfort in the fact that you're not doing anything wrong and that things are going to be okay. They really are. Just focus on your loved ones this week and focus on things you like. Focus on things that make you happy, that revitalize you, that, you know, puts more happiness into you. I don't like to see when anybody is in this kind of survival mode. It's unfortunate, and I really like you guys already. <laughs> so, you know, it's just like, 
take care of yourself and reach out to people that'll help you take care of yourself. It's going to be okay. Just take a step back when you can. And, you know, take care of yourself, guys. Everything's going to be okay. I promise. So if this resonated for you, please let me know and, um, you know, like, give me a comment, shoot me a comment. Just tell me what your situation is. And if you want to share, I mean, you know, I don't want to <laughs> overstep any boundaries here, but, you know, just let me know. Let me know if this was good for you and, you know, subscribe for more if you liked it. And uh, there's a link in the description to Tip me if you liked your reading today. Absolutely not necessary, but very much appreciated if you can spare, you know, any sort of anything. Um, take care of yourself first, though, guys. Always. Always, 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 always take care of yourself first. Pay your bills, you know. Make sure it's all said and done. So, yeah. Guys, stay strong this week. Good luck. I really appreciate you and love you already. Have an amazing week. And uh, I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye, guys.